Hi! Omega Chaos here again. With another episode of Tule Omega Chaos Season 2. And this time I am going to give my Heroic Challenger deck. This deck is all about uh, all about aggressive plays. Pretty much. It has pretty much no other goal but uh, finish your opponent as fast as possible. The deck is pretty good thanks to the OCT World Premier Sport from uh, uh, Tourist Advent. But uh, it's still uh, not uh, too competitive of course. It still has a lot of problems, but it is pretty good. Unfortunately, my hand is not exactly great. I didn't get a sort halberd or or thousand plate, which are pretty much the key cards of the deck. So that kind of sucks, but oh well, hopefully we draw something good. It's my turn. So let's see what we get. Okay, that uh, doesn't do much, but I can uh, normal summon Heroic Challenger Extra Sword. This is a very important card for the stack. Summoning at my a Blade Armor Ninja. Which is a very nice card. And then again, doesn't attack. Because I exceed someone with Extra Sword. Then I'm going to activate the effect and I can now attack twice this turn. Which is very good. Attack the face the monster. Oh, Shalandua. Well, that was unexpected, but oh well. I'm going to end my turn then. Yes, going to activate MST on that uh, Shard of Greed. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I guess it's a spirit deck then. Well, thankful I have that French chain for that Trasetsu. So that's good. I'm not sure if I'm, I am able to win this duel. I still don't have many options. And that Jernan Dua is stalling, but if I'm able to inflict damage, then that Jernan Dua dies, so yeah. Okay, that's fine. So let's see what we draw next. Okay, that's good, 1000 plates, but unfortunately I don't have anything for 1000 plates to discard, so that kind of sucks, but oh well.
First we attack Rosetsu. And then Jalando dies. And then we just attack directly. Okay, this is almost it. Oh, Tarkoal. Oh well, happens. Maximum point was just forced to activate Tarkoal. Sancho. Okay. I guess it's here out of perfection as well. Yeah, like I thought. Obviously, I'm going to solar moving that advanced structural art when it's activated. Well, I definitely need a heroic monster now. Because this card only has 1300 attack. And that Infernal Rock Reckless Summon uh, does nothing currently. Well, this definitely doesn't help much at all. I'm going to end my turn then. Oh, what a tower. Okay, that's fine. So I definitely hope next turn I draw a heroic monster. Or a way to exceed summon. So I'm able to finish this duel. Next one point probably goes for a rank 4 XC summon, if I'm not mistaken. Like I thought, number one was Hunter Arc. Huh. I let it go through for now. I just bet everything on my next draw. So let's see. Okay, I got something at least that's uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Then of course, present my Blue Mountain Pot Spy. Then you also activate Infernal Reckless Summon. Get more of the Blue Mountain Butter Spy. But my band gets nothing. First, I go for. Number 101, Saturn Arc myself. If Venerator Summon is uh, really um, nice in here for our huge uh, Xyz place, most of someone out there Ultimate Boss Monster number 86, uh, Heroic Champion, uh, Rongomiant. Um, 
I think I will just attack and let's see if my opponent has uh, something like uh, Battle Fader or not. I guess not tiny wound at all. But that's nice, even with uh, a bad hand. So let's go next to Al. And I'm back, so let's see how it goes this time. I'm definitely liking this deck so far. Okay, this is definitely not a bad hand. I have the Assault Halberd, which is a really good card for this, for this deck. It's the uh, Searcher card, although you, ha you have to inflict a uh, uh, battle damage. Uh, and then you can search a her heroic uh, card from your deck. It also can inflict piercing damage, and you can personalize it uh, if uh, I don't control a monster and then my opponent controls a monster. So I think it's a really good card for the hero heroic deck. It can even be splashed in uh, some other decks. It seems my opponent is playing Lightsworn. A deck I absolutely hate. But oh well. I suppose I'm on Heroic Chancellor, Assault Halberd. Lights from Barrier, who plays that? Like seriously. But oh well. I could, 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 could go for Xyz one, but what is the point? Go ahead and my turn. Okay, put the defense. You're not able to attack over that now. And set the monster. And of course, mills too. Okay, let's see. Okay, extra sword. I'm not sure how useful this is, but first I'm going to attack over that face down monster. And let's see what it is. Probably a Raiko. Or something, maybe Necrogarna. Possibly. Oh, what was Fireman was, yeah, of course that was also an option going to search at that thousand blades one of the key cards of uh, the deck no point is able to punish another judgment dragon uh, if my uh, opponent gets a dragon ruler then I'm in serious trouble because I'm not able to deal with uh, uh, two Chasmant Dragons. Could go for Xyz on what... What I should summon at that point then? There isn't anything... Uh, too useful I could summon. Interesting question. I guess I summon that... Um, what was that? Uh, Karn Gorgon, Dantlemus Knight. So I'm a point wants to target my my cards with that uh, Michael Dash Lightsborn. Or something like BLS, then I'm able to redirect the targets. And that's pretty good. And those, of course, it gains 1000 attacks, so that's very nice. It can be very hard to deal with. But if my opponent gets a judgment dragon, of course, then it's uh, pretty bad. 
because of course the long time doesn't target at all. And of course for an anti-luminous luminous knight for that weight, but only has to has to target one card. Oh no. I can't read the direct target because because Arcus also prevents targeting. Oh it's Celestia. That's the problem. Oh no, Pant build that card. So bad. Well, of course. That's why I hate Light Swan, like, so much. It's not completely over power tech. Not, of course, extremely luck based. But still, I like, completely hate that deck so much. I'm not even sure if I'm able to survive. If my opponent can summon those two channel dragons, I can only stop one with bottomless part. Oh, my opponent doesn't even attack, okay. But doesn't even summon the other judgment, the judgment dragons, so. So I'm... I guess my opponent doesn't have enough right swans in the graveyard. That would be the only reason. My opponent would summon that. Okay, what's next for me? Because I'm not South Harbor. Well, I think I have to do it. Go for this. It's really my only chance. Activate Colinberg's effect, summon Thousand Blades. Of course, I'm not able to. Yeah, just find my tears on that, but. Still not too bad, I guess. Go for that extra sword. And next see someone into number eight six Heroic Champion Rongo Miat. Not able to nuke the field, but it is unaffected by uh, other card effects and uh, open cannot normal or push out someone next turn, so I'm safe uh, from Judgment Dragon. And that won't help. And then going to end my turn. So let's hope this is enough. But I'm afraid it won't be. Let's hope for the best. It's a really powerful boss master, but it requires a lot of resources for you to put into it, so... Okay, my opponent sets a card. I have to detach, unfortunately. So let's see what we draw. Blue Mott and Potter Spy. Unfortunately that um, won't do much.
I'm going to end my turn. No point is now able to summon Judgment Dragon, but I am still not unaffected by other card effects. I will not break with skill, but uh, I'm not sure if it uh, affects it at all. Yeah, it doesn't. I forced to have to detach again, so that kind of sucks. I have to finish it very fast. Well, that won't too much either. So yeah, I am in serious trouble. Still. So I'm still probably going to lose. What must trap power? I probably shouldn't have set the composer because yeah, I'm not this. I won't be able to deal with uh, judgment dragon, of course. Yeah, I'm going to lose. And to surrender. Nothing I can do about that, so. Okay, yeah, so yeah. So this is it for this episode of uh, uh, Turai Oma Chaos Season 2. Um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, for now. A good pint of our kicks out.